Good morning, Rabbi Sai. Lili Nishmasi Mimurasi Rusbas Mordechai. Today's share is being sponsored by Yehuda David. Lili Nishmas Menachem Mendel Ben Esano Menachem David was a dedicated Jew who learned the daf and went through the cycle many times. He was a true Eved Hashem. And by Chaim and Hindi Snow, Lezeich Nishmas Yaakov Tzvi Ben Avram Radin, whose first yard set is today. He didn't ask me to say this. I'm saying it as a Kars Atayv. Chaim Snow is an amazing videographer and he does uh, tremendous video work. They actually hired him from the Sima Shas to do the work here in Eretz Yisrael. He did a lot of our stuff lately. He's a great guy and if you need to get a great video done, look him up. Chaim Snow. Simcha Lichter for Sheva Bas Rebbe Nashashan. Lili Nishma is my wife's grandmother who passed away Shabbos morning. The neshama should have an aliyah. The neshama should have an aliyah. All the neshamas. Here's an email. I love these emails. This email is for your reading pleasure. I'd prefer if it wasn't read to the chevra. Too bad. First of all, and I'll tell you why. Because if you're going to say don't read it, I am going to read it. But it's special for, this one is a special read for one of the guys in the chevra. A very good friend of mine, so I have to say, I have to read it. First of all, you should cry for everything you do. I've started making sechtas with Daf Yomi, but I've not been successful maintaining. My brother-in-law, Stephen Sokolov, started with you in the beginning of the cycle and told me about you and kept trying to convince me to join. I finally joined for a little bit during Sechtas Shabbos and sponsor one day individually, but on the same day and for the same reasons because Menachem Mata, I don't know what this means exactly. Kitzer, his cousin is Menachem Mata. That's why I'm reading it. Yes. I'm the cousin who following your comments, commenting on him, not just being about Koira. So now you know my yichos. This is by Yaakov Badner. So Yaakov Badner is a cousin of Menachem Ateh. I know the Badners are cousins. I play ball with the Badner. All right, Baruch Hashem. I rejoined in the middle of Pesachim and have been keeping it up. Unfortunately, I left for Florida. Otherwise, I would have been in the five-town Sium. Blah, blah, blah. The charts are very helpful. Uh, if not, I go on YouTube and make it up. Okay. I have a 27-year-old single daughter, and unfortunately, after years of shidduch dating, both she and my wife are a bit frustrated and anxious for her to find the shidduch. My brother-in-law, Stephen, after hearing Mark Steinberg's success, suggested that we share the turning of that sponsorship as a schos for my daughter to find the shidduch. It was, now he's throwing Stephen under the bus. First he threw Menachem Ated, now it's Stephen. It was Stephen's wording, not mine. He's the one that put in wanting to find a great shidduch. You're 100% correct. The shidduch, like Baruch, was set aside for her. Of course, yeah. Yeah, what Stephen meant, she'll find him when I coach, but great, that great shit of like, well, we should find him when time's right. Okay, the kids are in the schos of our sponsor, Meshavi Zoycha, to find the great, amazing shit of, and you have a lot of uh, networking, and we have Noam Fix, who made the greatest shit on earth, Marko Kapalovich. By the way, there was the, the day they got engaged, so I said, Malka, and somebody showed it to her. She actually watched it a few times, came back to me with the Taina, whatever. I'm not very good at names. Don't worry about it. Anyways, we hope we can find a great Shidduch. Any suggestions? We greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yaakov Badner. Okay, we got, we got the team on it. Bezer Hashem, by the end of this month, what's her name again? Dino Tamar. Bas Esther Rivka. All right. Ooh, before I forget, very, very important. Akaras Hatoy. A lot of Akaras Hatoy. First of all, today I found out that over 75 people have sponsored my Mishal Chamonis, the Elum Mishal Chamonis, uh, some of the gifts I received for Pesach. I should say my wife, not me. My wife received beautiful, um, not a Seder plate. I call it a Seder plate, but like it holds matzahs. What's that? Anyway. A chorus of type to all 75 people, Yishukayach for the beautiful stuff. And Yishukayach for this. Look at this. This is Mishpach magazine, page 281, and the same thing in Ami magazine. Same exact ad. Here it is. It's you get a free Gemara if you join our Shir. If you haven't joined before, all you guys don't get Gemara, sorry. You get a free art scroll, English or Hebrew. And on the bottom it says who's sponsoring it. Sponsored by Mendel Mitz from Argentina, Yossi Klein from Mudsi, 
Matt Steinberg from Wesley Hills, Harry Shalom from Los Angeles, Ellie Dykin from Borough Park, Sal Rosenberg from Suffer, New York, Elchanan Pressman from Spring, Spring Valley, New York. And by the way, a big mazel tov to Elchanan Pressman. First of all, he hasn't impressed me for a long time to give a chumash here, so for that, he deserves a tremendous ishkaya. But also, his daughter, I believe, got engaged, so tremendous hearty mazel tov to Elchanan and the Gantz and Nishpacha Yishkoyach for sponsoring Halavai. People, a bunch of people have signed up already. A bunch. But that's just the beginning. They plan on giving out maybe, uh, they said, hundreds of Gemaras. If that's how many people sign up, that's how many they're going to give out. All right. Today is the third day in the Oimer. Hayoim Shloisha Yomim Ba'oimer or La Oimer, any way you goris it. We're holding by a brand new Perek, brand new Mishnah. Today is Daf Yud. We're holding all the way in the Daf, Daf Tesam Beis, all the way on the bottom. Halacha Aleph, sponsored, the official Mishnah by official from official catering. Hatruma ma hoyu oisimbom. What do you do with the truma? Now, before we go any further, let me just show you the chart that I made for today. This might give a little bit better understanding. Here's the pile of the chatzi shkalm that you have in the lishka. And the, the kohen comes in and takes up until this first line, let's call it. When? Does it three times a year. Rishchaydish nisan. Okay, that's the first one. Takes up until the line. That's called trumas halishka. It's truma. Taking the money and putting it into three boxes. Three boxes for Kla Yisrael. What's below the line? The shirayim of the lishka. Shiyari lishka. So below the line, he's not going to take any more, according to the Tanakama. And he puts a blanket right over here. By this line, he puts a blanket. And then they come with more, as the, the, as the more chatzish come, they come in from different countries, from different cities, they pour it on top of the blanket. And they do this over twi- three times a year. So this is shiyari alishka. The leftover. Now, there's going to be a halacha, what we do. We're going to see what they do with the leftover from the lishka. And then once the year comes, a full calendar year from Rish Chodesh Nisan. So you're talking about Rish Chodesh Nisan over here is Tav Shem Pei Aleph. Rish Chodesh Nisan, Tav Shem Pei Beis, is Moisar Shirayim, the leftover of the Shirayim. In other words, anything under this line in blue is the Shirayim, the leftover. What happens when you have leftover of the leftover? That's the Moisar Shirayim. You also have, pay attention, that's three things that we discussed. The truma, the shirayim of the truma, and what's ever left over from the shirayim of the truma after a full year. They didn't do anything with it. They didn't build streets, whatever it is. But we also have one more moisar, and that is from the truma. Up until the first line is three boxes, times three, 27 saw we said. What happens when there's left over? They didn't, they didn't purchase a lot of animals that year. They, didn't, they had more than enough money. It was full of gold coins. Because remember yesterday we said that the third, the third time that they take the, the chatzis shekel, it's going to be a lot of gold. But you have to fill up the same boxes. So there's a ton of gold in there, and they didn't, they didn't spend it all on that time that I made a chesmer. It's one and a half million dollars. I was off by a lot because the third time is a lot of gold, and it could be... Four times the amount. Maybe you're talking about uh, six, seven, eight million dollars. Okay. So what do you do with the leftover? We're going to be discussing that as well today. Hatruma mayo isimba. So the first time they come, he comes along and takes truma up till the first line, let's say. Three boxes full. Loichim ba tmidin. So every day you shech the carbon tamid. Beina ba boiker, ba tzarayim. Loichim ba tmidin umusafim. And also the carbon musaf on Shabbos. Vinis keyem. And... The wine that goes together with the Musaf. Ha'imer. Again, I think, for me, this is a tremendous siyata de Shemayin, Ashgach Pratis. I learned it today. Today is the first day of the... Well, not really. Okay, so we're a day off. But the Oimer, right? The first day of the Oimer, it's called the Oimer. It's, a, it's an amount. The Oimer of barley, in order to allow us to eat the new crop, Ushtei Alechem, and the two breads that come on Shavuos, Velechem upon him, and all the breads that we have every week on Shabbos, they switch it out. But the Velechem upon him, the breads in the 
what do you call it? Not that Zara in the Kachim, in the what's the word? Yeah. The Chol Karbaris Hatibur. And everything else, all the other Karbaris, the, the, the tyrants, whatever it is, the wood, the, the, the salt, whatever you need, comes from this money off the top. So now the mission discusses on Shemitah, you can't plant, right? But you need to do a Neumer. So how do you get a Neumer? How do you get this barley? So you have something called Svichim. Svichim are the barley that grows by itself from seeds that dropped off the tractor, whatever it is, a mistake. So you get a stalk here, a stalk there. That's okay. But you need somebody to watch and make sure that nobody takes it. You, need, you have to have an Oimer. Can you imagine the manpower that goes into this? You have to set a human being on every stalk, every 20 stalks. One guy here, one guy in the next field. You heard that there's a bunch of Svichim growing over there. You get another guy. You have 200 guys for one little Oimer. I don't know. It, it, it seems like a lot, a lot of money, a lot of manpower. You have to make sure these guys are making sure that the animals don't eat it. It's not just Ganavim. They get paid for their hard work sitting out in the sun from the Trumas Halishka. Rabbi Yossi Oimer Afaroitzimis Nadir Shemichino. Rabbi Yossi argues. So we have a machlaikis here. It's a fundamental machlaikis. Can a person watch the Sfichim for free? The problem is that if he does, he might be Zoichin it and he might not give it to the Beis Hamikdash. And even if he does, it might be a private donation coming from a private person to the Tzibur. Maybe it doesn't work. What we want to do is, we want to make sure that it's the Beis Hamikdash. So we set our person, he's, he's our guy. And if he takes it for himself, he's taking our Sfichim. So therefore, there's no issue. But he holds Rabbi Yaisi, Afaroizim is not a Shemachinam, he could take it. Omerlai, Afata Imer, Shemba, Elo, Michel, Tzibor. So, they don't like it, they argue with him. Says the Gemara, Mara, top of Dafyud. Now, there's, there's a concept that we learned it before, maybe in Sochem, I don't remember where, that there were nine families that donated wood to the Beis Hamikdash when there was no wood all the way in the beginning, and because of that, they got a special reward that on certain days of the year, they bring the wood, regardless of if there's wood in the Beis Hamikdash or not, what we use their wood. That's their schar. And it became a yontif. So the Gemara says, Mara atzi koyan tapadaf yud. Mara atzi, Mara's man, What's so special about their wood? Gemara the says, because when Klai Yisrael came from the Goyla, there was no wood. They donated their, their own private wood to the Beis Hamikdash. And we did the Karbanis. And because of that, they got a reward. Shabinayam, the Nevim said, even if we have enough wood, this, this, these families, these nine families come along and give wood. Okay, so we have a problem. What's the problem? Because over here we see the idea that an individual, a private family, is donating wood to the base Hamigdash. According to Tanakama, we need to set guards and we, don't pay, we pay them well so they're our people. According to Rabbi Yaisi, he argues an individual could give to the Beis HaMikdash. Over here we see that individuals are giving wood to the Beis HaMikdash. This goes according to Rabbi Yaisi. It must be only according to Rabbi Yaisi because Rabbi Yaisi is of the opinion that a private individual, an individual, a private person could give his own things to a carbon seaboard. Rabbi Yaisi B'Shem Rabbi Ilo, a different Rabbi Yaisi says, in the name of Rabbi Ilo, Divriyakali, it's not true. This could be going even according to Chachamim who hold that when it comes to Svichin, the crap that we find growing by itself on Shemitah that we use for the carbon Minchas HaOimer, it's barley flour. It cannot come from an individual. 
But in this case, wood can come from an individual. Why? Ma pligin, what's the machloikis? Begufish al carbon. They're arguing within the carbon itself. Barley is the carbon itself. That's what you place on the mizbeah. Abo b'machshire carbon, when it comes to wood, which is a step away from the carbon, it's something that you light a fire with to make the carbon, but it's not the carbon itself. Kulama moidi, that's like kula alma. Kula alma moidi, kulama moidi, shuhu mishtano, carbon yachal a carbon tzibur. It's not a problem for an individual to donate that to the base hamigdosh. Something similar, tani. You have a woman who makes the, the, the garment for the kayan. It's kosher. So over here again, you have an individual giving over something to a kayan. But she must give it completely. That goes according to Rabbi Yaisi. Perhaps it only goes only according to Rabbi Yaisi who says in our Mishnah at the end of the Mishnah that that an individual could give to the Beis HaMikdash, and he argues on Chachamim. Rabbi Yaisi, once again, Rabbi Yaisi, Bishem Rabbi Lo, Rabbi Akali. No, it goes according to everybody. Ma pligin, same words, same idea. Begufa yishol karban. The machlaikis is in our Mishnah because we're talking about a karban that goes on the Beis HaMikdash, on the Mizbech itself, which is the karban milcha sa'imer. However, when you're talking about the garment, the vestment that the kain wears, that's not part of a carbon. That's a machshir to the carbon. That's a step away from the carbon. The, car, the kain must wear it. Okay. But it's not the carbon itself. That agrees. Says the Gemara, Al oison ayomim loyeg bishas ha carbon beloy bishas carbon. Those nine days. The, so we have a machloikis here. When did they keep yantav? What does yantav mean? Yantav means similar to chalamayid. No espedim. They fasted and they didn't fast and they didn't do malacha. So Oysenayamim, carbon, means in time the base of existed and not. So in other words, we see that even though there's a base amigdash, it's a full yantiv. And in other words, they donated, they were able to donate their wood in the time of base amigdash. You have a yachid donating. You see over here the Sanya. Omar Velazar Bey Rabbi Tzadik. Onu Hoyinu Mibnei Sna Ben Binyamin. Hold on. It's that time of the night. It's not the glasses. I'm telling you, it's not the glasses. I'm not giving in. So, the Bnei Sna, that was one of the families. Their Yantif was on Asara Ba'av, one day after Tisha B'av. So what happened, says the Gemara, the Chal Tisha B'av, Li'ayz B'Shabbos. So now Tisha B'av is a Nitcha. So instead of fasting on Shabbos, you fast on Asara B'av. The problem is that Asara B'av is their Yantif. V'dachinu Oysa Yilam Tzai Shabbos, V'ayinu Mis'anim V'loy Mashlimin. Says the Gemara, an incredible thing. Since it was Yantif for this family, Sna, so they didn't fast on Tisha B'av. It was a Yantif for them. So what did they do? They fasted 90% of Tisha B'av, and then they broke the fast. It's Yantif. So you see what a strong Yantif it is. And you can't be, it cannot be that it was such a Yantif because it was Machshire. It was a machshir to the Beis Hamikdash. It was an actual carbon to the Beis Hamikdash. What they did was, it had to be more than just machshirim. If they didn't fast on a on a tisha b'av, them giving a machshir kli to the Beis Hamikdash wouldn't allow them to to not fast. So you see how powerful their yantiv was, and nevertheless, it pushes it off, and it comes from a yachid. You see that a yachid could give a donation like that. 
In other words, we view the, the wood as a full-fledged carbon. Interesting that the tour brings this Gemara. It says that one of the Rishonim, the Yavits, actually didn't fast when Tisha B'Av was pushed off to his son's bris. So he said, this Gemara shows, on a, on a nitcha, it shows that when you have a yantif like a bris, like, a, like these people had a yantif because they were bringing wood, it pushed off that Tisha B'Av. Says the Gemara, You mean if they if they paskin if the tour paskin like that tour brings this ma'isa, yeah, very good. Says the Gemara, skip a line. Tamon taninon kol karbonis ayachid vatzibor boy min aretz umin chutz laaretz. Anything that grows in the ground, all the karbonis, whether it's yachid tzibor, comes from chutz laaretz as well. Min achadosh umin ayashan. From the old crop and from the new crop, chutz mina oimer ushtei halechem. So you see over here in the pasuk, it says like this: Kisavayu el aretz. So that right away tells us only from Eretz Yisrael. Ashani oisim lechem uktzartem es sira veavesim es oimer. We're talking about the oimer that happened two days ago, the second day of Pesach. Rishes kitzirchem. So, first of all, it has to be from Eretz Yisrael. Second of all, it has to be racist. It has to be from the new crop. It cannot, it can't be, the Oimer has to be from the new crop. You don't eat anything from the new crop. You go, we had it already. You go, you send people, they look for the, the new crop, the barley, and they bring that new, that new crop. And also, Shtei Alechem, also a pasuk that, that tells us it has to be from Eretz Yisrael and the new crop. Sheim Boim Elomena Chadash Uminar. It's those two things. Oimer, that's the exception to the rule. Everything else, Another mincha could be brought from chutzlars, you get nice flour, kemach, from whatever company it is, a pashkiz flour, you bring from America, you bring to Eretz Yisrael, it's okay. But if it's the Oimer, it, you have to make sure that it grew in Eretz Yisrael, and it's the new crap. Ravuna, Rav Chuna, B'Shem Reb Yirmiya, the Reb Yishmali. The Yishmali Oimer, this goes according to Yishmal, the Reb Yishmali says, in Oimer, Ba Minas Surya. Surya, somewhat like Syria, let's say, is very interesting because David HaMelech captured it, so it's kibush, but we don't consider it the same kind of capturing that Yeshua did. It was more of a kibush yachid, not everybody agreed to him. And in Mela, it has different halachas. In some way, it's like Eretz Yisrael, but he says, even so, you cannot bring anything, you can't bring the Oimer from Surya. Tamat Aninan, we learned over there, like Nan Hasam, Eser Gedusha is saying Eretz Yisrael Mekudashes Mekul Aratzo is this ten Gedushas and Eretz Yisrael is Mekudash from all the lands. Umay Gedusha. So what's the Gedusha? Shemevi Mimena Oimer Vabikurim Ushtei Alechem Oimer Shnei Alechem. And now the Gemara adds Bikurim is only from Eretz Yisrael. Masha Enke Masha Ein Mevi Enkein Mekul Aratzo. You cannot bring it from other lands. Reb Chia B'Shem Reb Yimir the Reb Shmali Reb Shmal Omar Ein Oimer Ba Menas Suryo. You see that the Oimer cannot come from Chutzlar, it's even, that's what I'm saying, it's even Surya. Of course it can't come from America, but even Surya, that David HaMelech captured, and in some way it's similar to Eretz Yisrael, it's very, it's, it, it's, it borders to Eretz Yisrael, and David HaMelech captured, nevertheless, do not bring the barley from Surya. Tamon Tanina, we learned in the Mishnah, Reb Shmuel Oimer, Mechorish Rishos, Avkot Rishos, just like, you cannot plow, meaning the plowing on Shemitah is, is a, a regular plow. There's no, there's no mitzvah to plow, and that's what you're not allowed to do. I have cuts shoes. The only harvesting that's usher to do on Shemitah is one that's not a mitzvah. Just like plowing is not a mitzvah, so the harvesting is not a mitzvah. Yotzak tzira oimer, shu mitzvah. However, when there is a mitzvah to harvest, that's permitted. Now the guy takes out these Almost three lines. You go to Man Tana Shomri Svichin Svichis Beshvis Noitun Scharim Metrumas Alishu. You got it? Okay. Man Tana Shomri Svichis Beshvis Noitun Scharim Metrumas Alishu. Who says that these guards they get their salary from Trumas Alishu from the top part of the Machsa Shekel? Rabbi Shmali Omar Rabbi Yosi. 
Divriyakoli. Limatsu Basurya, because according to everybody, if you don't find barley in Surya, Mivin, Oisam, Isfihim Shabar Yisrael. So first you go, in other words, you don't you don't harvest the land unless you first check out in Surya. Maybe Chutzlar, it's which is not Chutzlar, it's a little bit of Israel. If you can find it over there, it's better. If you can't find it over there, then you come to Eretz Yisrael. Hayen Oimer, that Oimer, Mao Shizor Betchilos. The Gemara asks a very interesting question. If you're already saying that you could harvest, you could be over Yisurim in order to be Mikhaim the Mitzvah Sa Oimer. So maybe if I find out there's zero crap all over the world, maybe I should be able to plant right here in Eretz Yisrael a crap I have for Oimer. He asked the question. So the question is, great. What happens? When you take a kmitza, so you stick, the coin sticks his hand into a bowl of flour, it goes like this, and he grabs three fingers worth like that, and then he rubs it down, okay. This amount right over here goes onto the mizbeah. The rest, the coin gets to eat. But now the coin won't get to eat it. Why? Because it's a bad batch. It's a batch that was planted on Shemitah. Can't be anything worse than that. Terrible lesser. They went and they planted on Shemitah barley. They didn't have a braira because they had to bring a Eimer. Okay, so I'll let you put this on the Mizbeach. But the rest of it you can't eat. Oh, if you can't eat it, then the whole thing is no good. Then you can't even put this on the Mizbeach. One is dependent on the other. You, you can't have a half a, a half a oimer, a oimer that part goes on the mizbeach, and the other part the coin can't eat. If the coin can't eat it, then Hashem can't eat it. Nobody could eat it. Says the Gemara, what I mean is, obviously, the mizbeach, Hashem, the mizbeach. There's no such thing as when you do kmitza, that the leftover of the kmitza, the shirayim, you can't eat it. Omer we learned this also. There are five things. What's the list? Oimer, Shnei Lechem, Lechem Aponim, the Veshalmi Tzibor, and the Chathas of Rosh Chodesh. There are five things, and one of them is the Oimer. You see, so one of them is the Oimer, and it says that even though you could bring them when you are Tomei, Ve'ine Cholim, Betuma. So here's the situation, the Omer itself. I bring it with Tumah. I am Tomei, Klai Yisrael's Tomei. We bring it and we're makriv it, but I can't eat it. You know why? Because I'm Tomei. So here's the situation where the Shirayim cannot be eaten and Akash Baruch gets his carbon. The, 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 the Kmitza goes on the Mizbeach. So it's not a problem. Says the Gemara, how do we pay the salary of the guard? It's very complicated. Who pays him? The Beis HaMikdash. What, so the Beis HaMikdash has Kaddish money, and they give Kaddish money to, to some guy, the, the guard? It doesn't work. You can't give Kachim to a guard. It's very difficult to be Mechalal and take away the Gdusha. What are you going to do? So Gemara has a great idea. First, you go to the bank, and you take out a loan. The bank pays the guards. So the salary is paid off. Okay, end the story. You don't have to worry about them. Uh, you pay. Oh, no, I'm okay. I forgot about them again. You have to pay immediately. And then. So first the bank pays. Then once you have the crap, you take the money. Let's see if that. It's a lot of money. I don't have that much money. You're talking about tens of thousands of dollars. You have to pay these guys, right? So you take the money. Here's, this is uh, wheat. Pretend this is wheat. You take this money from Beis Amigdash. And you go like this. This now becomes Kaddish. This transferred into here, and now this became Chulun. The money becomes Chulun, and now with the Chulun money, I pay the bank back. 
So the bank pays chulen money to the, for the wages, to the guards. Then we take Kaddish money and we do a switcheroo. We could take Kedusha, put it into another object. This object is wheat. And now the carbon oimer became Kaddish. That's fine. Until now, the carbon oimer was chulen. Where do you, you found it in a field somewhere. It didn't have Kedusha. But now because I took money that's Kaddish and I put it into the wheat, now the wheat become Kaddish. That's okay. Now I'm going to be makir of this carbon Bigdusha. Maybe Moizmit Trumas Halishko Machalim Malav. It's called Chilu. Ask the Gemara of the Tavos Kain. So that's how you have to learn it. It's a question. Question mark. That's how the Tiklan Chatan learns it. That's how I saw in the Carbon Edo. It's a question. In other words, how's it possible? You're taking, look how much money. The $10,000, and you're, you're being mechalit on this plastic thing? How much is this worth? This is worth two cents. Okay. In real life, this is, I don't know, that, that much flour. How much flour? You're talking about $2 worth of flour? $5 worth of flour? But it cost you, in, in, to come up with that five pounds of flour, you spent, you had a hundred guards in a hundred different fields for 30 days. That's a lot of money. How are you going to be mechalal all that money into two dollars worth of, of flour? That's not fair. V'tavus kein. Says the Gemara, Rebbe Acha B'Shem Rebbe Ba, Kol ma shi'itein, hein heim davim shari shayna. Yes, this, you're right. To you, this looks like two cents. But this cost me in developing, in product developing, but in, okay, so when we're talking about, forget about, the, the, the two pounds of barley, cost me a fortune, yeah. So I'm taking that fortune and I'm, I'm being mechalet into the two pounds. You have a cash, oh, but I could go in the store and buy two pounds of barley for $2. Not these two pounds, these two pounds with the garden cost me $200,000. Same exact thing again. Any way you want to read it. The people that cut down the stones, Till you have the top row. When they built, everything they built was without Kedusha because it's very problematic. If, imagine if your, your stones are Kaddish and you're, you're messing and you hit the stone and the stone uh, gets a little nick and now the guy is over me, Eli, has to bring a carbon, it's a, it's a mess. Nothing has Kedusha until I get to the top row. When I get to the top row, then we'll talk about it. Maybe Then I take the money. And from the Trumas Halishka, from right over here, I take these money and I put it and I'm a chalet on the stones with Tavus Kain. Is that fear? All the money of an entire wall just on the top row? Yes. That's how it goes. That's how it works. I'm able to be mechalal, all that money on that. And now we just turn to that Yudam of the base. Schos of a great Chidoch. Now we know who it is. Not Stam, a person. Now we have to remember it's Yaakov Badner's daughter, Dino Tamar Bas Esther Rifka, which happens to be Stephen Sokolov's uh, niece, maybe, and uh, Menachem Ate, The kids the whole. I didn't know Menachem Ate is somewhat related to Stephen Sokolov. Okay, now we know. All right. Zok Dehligi Mishnah, sponsored by Fischl. The official Mishnah is sponsored by Fischl. Masnisi. Part of his arm is the Leach. Veloshin shall Zahiris boy mitrumas alishka. So, yeah. They're just asking, what's the difference if there was a big, uh, uh, you know, loan worker in the PTA? What they, what they had to get paid and how much it was worth? If you find by a few in uh, the bar, or the hub on, so you don't have to make that difference. And it doesn't matter if the hub on is worth a lot more. Right? I don't know. What do you mean by what? What kind of opinion, Hamar? The five seller? What are you talking about? I don't know. Maybe over there it's a special halach that the Torah says that that's how you do opinion. And over here we're trying to we're trying to take the money that we owe him and put that money towards the wheat and say that the wheat it's not a, it's not I don't know. Maybe over there is there's a cause. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember that sugi. You know why? Because we learned it more than two days ago. So I don't know. Can't answer you.
Part of Asarim Shalayak Balashin Shal Zahir is Boyam and Trumas Halishka. So once again, we're talking about the Trumas Halishka. What do we do with all this money? The Chatsi Shekel. The whole Masechta, right? Shkala. Chatsi Shekel. What do we do with it? You buy the red cow, the Paraduma. The Sarah Mishtaleach. So this is, you have to know each thing. At the end of the day, how is it? Is it a carbon? It's not a carbon. It helps Klai Yisrael, Sarah Mishtaleach. The, the, two, the two goats, Fiyam Kippur, one is sent off the, the cliff. How is that a carbon? Well, the first one is a carbon. Veloshin Shel Zahiris. So you have to, together with the, the para, you have Eitz Eresh, Nithilas, and a red string. So all these things come from Trumas Halishka. Now here's an amazingly interesting thing. Kevesh para. You're not going to believe this. They used to build a ramp that went from Harabais to Harazesim. Pretty long ramp. A bridge. I don't know. I, I don't think it's a cheap thing to do. And as we're going to see, there's a sheet that says that was built by the Kohen Gadol himself. Because I didn't have a picture last time. I was talking about Venice. I went to Venice and I saw this with my own eyes when Venice floods. So I pulled out the picture. To me, this is what something, something like this. Going from the Harabayas to Harazesim. Why? Because if there's a dead body under here, under this plank, and the Kain walks with his para on top, they don't get Tumma. Because the plank creates a roof, it's oil, and stops the Tumma. Well, there's an issue, says the, the Tikkun Chadatan. What about these guys that are anchored in the ground? They might be touching a dead body. And the, the body, the Tumma, transfers through them into the plank. Says the Tikkun Chadatan. Therefore, there's a second level. They had to build two levels. And they offset the feet of the second level so that they don't touch the feet of the first level. So even if the Tumma transfers in, it won't go into the next level. That's what he says. So Mamela, this was a very, very expensive and time-consuming proposition. Kevesh para. Okay? Something that we never knew about. They had to walk the para all the way to burn it on the Haram Mishcha. Bekevish Sawyer. And also the ramp for the Sawyer Amishtalech. Tikmachatim brings that the Bavliim, they were very anxious to get the Sawyer Amishtalech off the cliff because they wanted their Averis to be Mechuper and they would rip at the hair and say, send them already. So you had to make a special, a special ramp. We're going to see also that this ramp had walls so that the coin shouldn't go over, or maybe shouldn't be able to see people, and have tumma. interesting. And there was a red strip between its horns, and that needed to be paid by the, by the lushka. And the sewer system in the, in the Azar. And the walls, and the towers. And anything that's needed for the city. That, all that comes from this pile down here. The leftover of the Lishka. It's not true. The kind Gadol makes it himself. So now we have a big machlaikis. What do you do with the leftover of the Lishka? Moisar means the, whatever is left over from the three boxes that they didn't use for Karbanas. You buy with it wine, oil, and flour, and they sell it. The base I mean, they sells it to other people to make profit. You cannot do business with Hegdish money, because what if the money, what if it goes down in value? Or it doesn't look good. It's brought down the... the the, the, the carbonator brings another pshat. It's brought down. It's from Bavli. Ein ashirus. Ein anirus b'makam ashirus. Wealthy. Bill Gates doesn't do business. He doesn't sell a little bit of oil on the street corner to make another buck. It's not nice for the Bishamikdash to try to make a little money. Af loy mishalanim. You don't do business with tzedakah money. Moisar truma me'o What do you do with the leftover 
of the truma. Requis of tzipui lebeis kodesh kadashim. The floors, the walls of the kodesh kadashim were um, had a layer of gold. Rabbi Shmuel Oimer Moisa Peiros, meaning any kind of prophet that comes to the base hamikdash, kates on his beach, use it for the carbonus of his beach. When there's a low time in the mizbeach, Moisar Truma, Likli Shars. He argues, what do you do with the leftover of Truma? This part, right, with the top part, when you have leftover, after you finish buying carbonates and you have leftover, you, you, you buy the clay Shares, any kind of clay in the base Hamigdash. Rekiva Oimer, Moisar Truma, Likhets and Mizbeach. The leftover Truma goes for carbonates. Moisar Nesachim, Likli Shares. Not true. How do you buy Kli Shares? Not from the Moisar Truma, rather, from the leftover from wines. How do you have it? The Gemara will explain. Rabbi Hanani is going to kayana moimer. Moisar nesachim. Ketzim is beach. The leftover of wines that goes to Karbanas. Moisar truma likli shares. Zevazel or yomadim peiros. Both of them don't agree to Rabbi Shmuel that the leftover of peiros goes to the Ketzim is beach. Says the Gemara. Kevish par. Rabbi Shmuel. Rabbi Shmuel ben Achman b'shem. Rabbi Yonason. Gimel the same. There were three types of red strings. Shall Sayir Besela. So the Sayir, the goat that was thrown off a cliff, he had the biggest one. It was a Sela. Because you have to divide it in two. One goes on the goat that's thrown off the cliff. One goes on a rock next door. So you could see if it turned from red to white to see if the, the Averis of Klai Yisrael, big nays, if they turned, if HaKashbar was Michael. Shall Metzayir Abishekel. This is a Chatzi Sela. And you take the, the string and you take the blood and you sprinkle on, on the Metzoyer with that string. Part of it. Shal para b'shtei slime. And the para is the para duma. So it says in the Pasuk like this. You see this red string. And what does it say? Very interesting. It must land into the fire. If it's very light, let's say it's uh, nothing, it doesn't weigh anything, so before it gets into the fire, it's going to be consumed by the, by the heat. In order for it to drop to the bottom, it must be shtei slime, because of this word, el toich, shtei fasapara. Rebbe Chunyo, Dibras Chavron, Rebbe Bo, Bar Zav, Debesham, Rebbe Shim, Ben Chalavto, Shal par b'shtei slime, umechza, not true, it must be two and a half, v'is the mapkin lishno, basor zuz, it's the same amount, two and a half sela, but they call it asor zuz. I saw a pshat to say that you have to be mendaik and how your Rebbe says it. That's how his Rebbe said it. That's how I'm repeating it. Ten zuz, not two and a half. Rav Yudav Shem Rav Shmuel, Tamid HaChacham HaMelamim Zakoyana Milchah Shechita. Those who teach the halachas of Shechita. Hilchas Kabbalah, Hilchas Rika. All the halachas that are in the base of Middash. Noitim Tzchara Metruma Salishka. They get paid. From the chazi shekel on top over here. Rabbi Yitzchok Bar Redifo b'shem Rebami mevakri mumi kadoshim. Those who check the animals to see that they don't have mumim, like a mashgiach, noitim scharim etrumas halishka. Says the tikkun chadtin, but it says in the Gemara Mefurish, you're not allowed to take money for it. Yes, for an individual, I can't take money because if I take money, I'll be influenced by you. If you hire me to check your animal, I can't take money from you. But if the Beis Hamidrash hires me, that's allowed. So there's something called a Magia, something that looks through the Sefer Torah. I have many stories I want to tell you, but I guess we ran out of time. I'll tell you this one quick one that my brother-in-law just told me. He's the Rosh Hashiva, Rosh Hashiva Freeman, Rosh Hashiva of Nesiv Asar. Just two, three weeks ago, he checked this beautiful Sefer Torah that was checked already by a computer a number of times. On Chavez, they found, they didn't check it. On Chavez, they found a big mistake. It said, the word is supposed to be S, Hakapires. So it was just recently. And it said, Oisa Kapires. They put the hay of the Kapires, Hakapires, with the S. Aleph, Saf, hay, the next word, Kapires. And the computer didn't pick it up. Because it had the right amount of letters. I don't know why. By the way, because I just bought a, I'm buying now a Sefer Torah, and this guy was telling me, a Yerushalmi in our neighborhood that's buying from the same cipher, he said that the, one of the most important things is to find the great Magia. And he runs all the way to Ashdod and to here to find the Magia, because there's different Magia, and for different cipher in the hall, it's a Torah. The kids are, I didn't understand the word he said, but I believe him, and I'll just follow whatever he tells me. 
The judge is over there. It's for Klai Yisrael. It's for some reason has to do with Korbanus and things like that. Shmuel Omar, Noshem Oergis Baparoiches, Noitem Schorim Etrumas Halishka. This is not an accurate picture, but it's the best one I found online because I don't have my Sfarim with me. So this is the Kapiris that is Mavdil between the Kaidish and Kaidish Akadashim. Behind there is the Kaidish Akadashim. So the women that, that designed this, they get paid by Trumas Halishka. Rabbi Chunyo Omar, Mitrumas Bedekabayas. No. It doesn't come from Lishka, it comes from the other fund of the upkeep of the Besamidosh. Ma'apalik, what's the ma'apalik? It's Shmuel, love at law. So the gra is goris here. Kekelem. It makes a lot of sense, the gra. It, it can be a carbon. A wall is not a carbon. A wall, this Shiloh, this curtain, because it moves, is it a kli? Because it's a movable object? Or is it a wall? Avadlo kekelem. Ravon avadlo kebinyan. Omar Chizkiya. Tana Rabbi Yudog. That's the name of the person. Actoires. All the carbonos come from Trumas Alishka. Mizbach Azov. Here, if you look in here, this golden thing, this is where they did the Ktoires that's in the Kachim. So, I still don't remember the word. There's a better word. Like Rabbi Kiva said in the Mishnah. So, the Heichal, thank you. Mizbach ha'oilo, ve'eichol, v'azorois, boim mishyore alishko. So this, Mizbach ha'oilo, and the heichol. V'azorois, no, I think the gro is not gorous, this. No, is that, no, that's the next one, sorry. Okay, boim mi, bedek ha'bais, the gro is gorous over here, not shiore alishko, because he flips it, it's all based on babli. Boim me bedeka bais, chutzla azara is anything outside of the azara. Boim me shiari lishka. He took what we have in Bavli, and if it didn't make sense here, he, he changed the gears. And this, just on this page, he has I don't know how many changes, major changes, and everybody goes with his changes. Vatani, here's another one. Vatani avne Yerushalayim. You have to take out Mizbeach. It's not the Mizbeach, that's something else. The, the, the stones of Yerushalayim, hahechov, azaris, mayalam bahem. You could, I'm sorry, don't take, don't put those words in. Avne Yerushalayim, not Hayek of Azars. The stones of Yerushalayim, there's Me'ila. If you use them, you're over and you have to bring a carbon. The point is, we just said a second ago, two lines up, Boim is Shiyore Halishka. So, if it comes from Shirayim, how is there Me'ila? Says the Gemara, Avne Yerushalayim, Vachiyesh Me'ila B'Shirayim. Why are you over? It came from leftover money. And he takes out the word Ella because he explains Ella is the final answer, but this is not the final answer. Kirevi Meir. The Meir on my Mishirayim. Remember, we had yesterday. Remeir holds that the leftover money, whatever is below the red line over here, there is Meila. This is something that we might be using if we run out of money. Remeir only said this me'ila within the year, but look, Rish Chaydish Nisan Tavshin Pei Beis, and that's what we're talking about. The Moises Shirayim, we're talking about afterwards. There's no me'ila, in the, 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 he's masking that there's no me'ila in that. Should we stop right over here? Yeah, let's stop over here. Rabbi Yisai, have a wonderful Moyed. We'll see you, Beis Hashem, tomorrow. Ah. A good moyed, who's that? Ah, Rebbe Brom. Mati, I, I, I can tell your voice. Hold on, let me switch this around. There we go. For the Zaydi that was complaining, I don't want to hear from his grandchildren.
Shlemy Kleiman, Ben Schwartz. Take care, Bernard. Don't forget it's Yontif. Yoyli! Yoyli! I'm okay, Menachem Eschem. I'm allowed to say this? On, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on, on uh, Chalamoyed. What? I don't know the halachas. I used to know them. I forgot them. How you doing? Yeah? It's great to see you back after a, a, a seven day break. It was half. Uh, it, seemed, it seemed kind of close. When was it? Right before Yantif? Wow. Where where was the where was the where is he buried? Vosapis Stam. Ooh, wow. What is it? It's next to it's next to the Riven Sereba, that one? I don't know if I ever told you that I, I I once looked at a house in Muncie and we really liked it, and my shver came to see it and he talked us out of it because obviously he didn't want us to live in Muncie. So that was the end of that. And and then we had a guy in my house just recently, like a month ago, and he said he lived in that house that I was looking at. He described it exactly, and it's right across the street. I remember thinking, wow, I don't want to live across the street from Basic Forest, and this that. And then he's telling me that his house literally faces the Rivnitz Sarebis Caver. Like on the 306, right? Yeah. Take care. Good night. What do you do? Driving now? No, 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 no. I came home this morning. I don't know if you noticed. We were both in the same car, but now I'm home. I came home a little bit. it shouldn't be working. You guys probably lift these heavy boxes. It's Mamish Osser. For tire, everything is motor. Everything. Right. Richer. Yeah, because he was Right. Avada, I didn't go anywhere. I don't know what they did. No, they went to some place. They went to uh, like a uh, arcade, something, I don't know what. They're going on Thursday, they're going to um, the, like a go-kart. It's called, um, it's go-karts that go like 60 miles an hour. You know those go-karts? Who? Which Hauchhauser? Are you joking? David Hauchhauser is new? No, Rebelli, Rebelli. I made a Kabbalah on Pesach that I'm joining the 715 Shir line. Ooh, what? Uh. You mean, you're not just going to show up on Moshe Shabbos, you're saying? Yeah, I used to watch the Shir on YouTube later on. Actually, I just got away from the early and joined the 715. Listen, you, you got to do me a favor. If you're going to join, you have to make another Kabbalah. You got to come on five, ten minutes before so that there's a certain guy that likes to jump on first and put pictures of actors in the background. So to, to counterbalance that, we need a Hasidish in Gemam with the Tzikraz of the Pais. So when people come on, they don't say, wow, this is a Meshiga. Well, what kind of place is this? I go, I go, I go to Sruli Bornstein chair. I don't see any actors in the background. I don't see any Moderna Shazachin. Yeah. 
So you weren't, Bikitzer, Bikitzer, the Peshat is you weren't listening to the Shir so well. I didn't get one drop this year anywhere, not even on my plate that was underneath my Becher. Not one drop. I don't know what you did. It's, I don't know what you did. What leaned down? Who lays down? I went like this. I had something right over here. What's the problem? Like this. I'm over here. I had a support. I had a support. Something was right over here. You see where my hand is? That is a support. Support. What's the problem? No. I put a, a like a back of a chair, a high chair, and then I put a pillow over it, and I leaned on it. You know what? You know what Rabelsky said. Rabelsky said you can just put your hand like this. This is a seva. He said he saw it in Roman pictures, and he's basing it on the Roman pictures. This is Rabelsky. On the knees, on the knees. No, but seriously, did you say there? Did you did you have different machshavas during the seder when you said halal, when you said a bracha? Did you think about psachim? That's my shaila. Good. That's thicker. Really? <laughs> Hello, Shlomi. You got to be careful. I don't, I, in my house, I can't say the word Dafiyaymi. It's Usr. If I say Dafiyaymi one more time, my kids are going to throw me right out. <laughs> Daddy, all you care about is Dafiyaymi. You don't care about us. You don't care about us. <laughs> so what? They don't care. They don't care. They don't want to hear Dafiyaymi. They're sick. They look at the ceiling, it says Dafyami in the ceiling right off of the dining room. You think they want to hear about Dafyami? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. What did you say, Dovin? Who's Howard? Howard, you're from Florida? I didn't hear what happened. I missed. Yeah. Hold on one second. Time out. Dovin, hold on one second. Howard, where are you from? Ah, Shalom Aleichem from Hollywood. How's the weather over there? Oh, you're in Chicago. <laughs> Hold on, I have to say Shalom Aleichem to Chanoch. There's a new guy here, Chanoch. How are you doing, Chanoch? Very nice. What? But this not on Zoom though. On on YouTube. All right. Well, we got to chop him. Rabbi said, you got to work on him. Make sure he doesn't leave us, even on the later, in the earlier shacharsim.